and welcome back to some more range rounded right for today's video i think it's about time that i do a little bit of a base tour since it's been about yeah about 200 hours since i did the last one approximately so we're at 400 hours now i am going to be frank and uh, yeah i do not think that i've spent 400 hours actually building i think it is a lot closer to probably around maybe 100 uh, maybe that's too much let's say 80 but anyhow right so here we have the mountain home as beautiful as ever all of the craft people now also added the trade person work pair people valerie the bard now i've added some minor furniture a little bit of books and such and when it comes to my basement it has become filled with relics artifacts weapons armors and a lot of stuff that i've gathered throughout my playthrough now basically all of these are legendary at least as legendary as they can be yes even this one over here now obviously except for the weapons that are not you know obtainable in legendary so yeah we also have the trophy wall expanding to all the trophies now for the update that will probably be released within 24 hours of this video uh, we are most likely getting a total of six trophies that including you know regular bronze and iron perhaps even more we will see now i also created a little bit of a bathroom not sure if i've showcased this before and we do have a little bit of a patio with a beautiful view of the mountains now i've also created a little bit of a farmer district i would say it is fairly empty right now almost looks like an abandoned western town i think but with a little bit of greenery and some more furniture and such i think this place could become a lot more lively now there's also the potential that there will be added some town folk so maybe 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 now from down here we can also access the sewer system which isn't really much of a system i must confess since i do have quite a bit more uh, digging to do but right over here in the middle of the sewer we have a trombumpoline that leads up to the main district and our central well now the main district is just a bunch of different houses i was uh, testing out some building techniques and from the main district we do have the trading district that is uh, protected by good old glen the troll right a little bit of a different palette over here and i am fairly proud of what i've made right there considering that again i built all of this freehand no real planning whatsoever but yes now as for the main house we have a little bit of expanded storage and all of the crafting uh, furnitures and for the main farm i have as you can see planted a bunch of trees because i needed some resin and we'll get back to the trees soon enough now right over here well to the left we do have the sand castle which um, i have increased the height of by a little i've managed to reach the build height which was a lot closer than i initially thought now the newest addition to the base is this little farm plot which includes all of the farmable items all of the plants except the trees of course which i have created a little bit of a tree farm over here well not much of a farm i just kind of wanted to see how they looked and as you can see that this looks like an impenetrable wall of doom, yes. Oh, a little bit of a hole here and there. Yeah, again, nothing's perfect. But, um, yes, it is indeed looking like something. Now, like probably all of you who are into building, especially in Enshrouded, you have also probably made a hobbit hole. Now, I've made quite a few. This is more like a mountainside base, and this is a little bit of more greenery thing. Now, if we follow the pathway here, we get into the mini shrine, 
which I have upgraded a tiny bit with some pathways and a little bit more foliage or the flower soil. Now I've also extended the mini shrier, so now it is becoming a little bit more of a bigger shrier, I would say. Now at the very end of the shrier, we do have this little building, which I do find kind of fun. It is an archery stand where I can practice my aim, which I... Yes, I surely need. I don't know. Stand still, you. And oh, there we go. Well, good enough. But yes, I do need to <laughs> practice my aim somewhat, so that is what that is for. Right, and then I think that is basically the whole base. Quick and easy. Now, I did want originally to kind of make it a little bit more, let's say, blended when it came to the Shrier to the trading district or the farming district, my bad, but I did end up just building a wall, because I think this works. It works rather well. Now, let's get into the big old sandcastle over here. Now, I've made some trampolines, so that it will be a little bit... Oh, come on then. Oh, let's say what thing? Uh, right, like a show, and then, like a... <laughs> uh, it's a lot easier. Uh, when you're not recording. Well, at least this is the very build height where we get a good-ish view of the entire base. Now, as you can see for the tree farm, that is most likely something that I'm just gonna cut down. Just wanted to see all of the trees because I'm most likely gonna use the revelwood uh, red leaves trees around because they go a little bit better with the base and the overall theme, I think. Then again, this base will probably never be 100% completed. I do also have a big real estate down below, which we can take a little bit of a look at. But this is also a very fun spot to just drop down from, because I have also decorated a fair bit of my woohoo base with uh, uh, these things, which, uh, yeah, they're very fun to use. Right on the shoulder on good old Glend over here. <laughs> a little bit of snosh action. And then over here. Mish. Now one thing that I do want to say. The main reason why I'm making another uh, base video. Even though I haven't really built that much. Is because with the update comes a great danger. Potentially. I will showcase that a little bit now. But there is potentially a risk that the update will uh, destroy my base because it has almost done so previously with the Hollow Halls update. Now, I've created quite a big wall over here with a little bit of, uh, you know, glowing marks on the side. Now, I'm planning to extend that to the rest of the wall, but down here you can see that there's clearly something amiss. Yes, because of the update of the Hollow Halls, they did redo basically my entire mountain that I built my base on, which... Um, Yes, causes some issues, you could say the least. So, yeah, there's a, there's a definitely... Oh, 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 hop, hop. Yeah, there's definitely some weirdness. Because the build area, I think I can showcase that, ends right here. But still, this area is left blank. Which, I mean, I guess I can make up some lore to why that is happening. Probably that my base was ascended, ascended, descended from space or something and then just terraformed the entire area around. Also cut this building thing in half. Uh, but yeah, it is even more evident if we do go over here. Yes, you can see that there's, uh, there's definitely something going on. Uh, but hopefully... I hope, I have very high hopes for uh, the upcoming update, but there is a chance. I am going to take my time with the update, but there's a, <laughs> there's a good chance that I'll start the next video off by recording when I log into the game, just to see what has happened. Uh, now, I do have a bunch of back um, backups of my save, so that's, uh, I mean, that's not going to be an issue. But yeah, I will say that um, I'm a little bit, I wouldn't say scared, excited. Because the worst case scenario, if the update does destroy my base, I do have the backups. And I could just, you know, get all of my stuff and place it to another world. I mean, there's plenty of stuff that I can do. There's also resource worlds, which I will get into at some point. Uh, but yeah, it is going to be interesting. 
Now, most likely everything is going to be fine, but I think it would be really fun if it wasn't. Uh, I mean, I love my build, but if everything was destroyed, that would be the best reason to move up to the mountains, I think. Because I am a person that enjoys just having one central base, basically. Yeah, I definitely also need to add more of the swings, because that could become a lot more fun, especially now that I have some more, uh, well, play area, basically. Oh, oh, so close, but no cigar. But again, just a little bit of a trampolining and right on Glenn's shoulder, and usually down to the snots, but I missed. Yes, I think that the update is gonna be a mage balls. I will most likely take my sweet time with the update, but we will see. But anyhow, I think that should be it for today. The update is going to release within 24 hours. So I am very much ex excited. But anyhow, I think that I'm going to say, as always, until next time.